how you guys so um i have been off of youtube for a while um i've really been just listening to god god has just wanted me to just back away from social media for a little bit um unless it came to work or whatever but i want to come on here today because i want to talk about um a little testimony right now and i know it's going to be very inspirational to you guys um because it helped me um, as well. And if anybody is wanting to walk the narrow path of discovering their purpose, or if you are already in your purpose, or if you're on the road of discovering your purpose, or you're, you know, surrendering your life to, to, to the Lord, um, I want to share this testimony. So, um, we had a family dog and we got her, we, we had her, she was 13 years old when she, um, she just passed away. Um, so we had her for 13 years, well, actually 11 years. Yeah. 11 years because we got her, um, in 2012 and she was already two when we got her. So she, uh, we had her for 13 long years. It was just a blessing that she lived that long. Um, she was our family dog and everything. And, um, you know, a, a couple of years ago, I started to really get serious with God and walk with God and discover my purpose and surrender my whole life to God. Um, and, you know, not feeding into my flesh and just giving my whole life to God. Um, my decisions, whatever God wanted me to do, really just walking with, with the Lord. Um, so it is so amazing how God does things when you are walking in your purpose or you are in that in that narrow path of maybe possibly discovering your purpose but walking into your purpose um god will give you mercy and grace and let you know um things before it's time so mind you our dog was so like energetic and she she did not act like she was like 13 years old like she was very like hyper and everything like running around the house really fast like a crackhead you know what i'm saying like she's just really 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 like energetic and stuff um and i think it was honestly i think it was the summer of last year so 2022 the summer of 2022 god was having me look up um, in preparation how to know when you're it's time for your dog to go and stuff like that mind you our dog was not doing nothing like out of the ordinary she wasn't acting sick or nothing um you know god wanted me to start looking up stuff like that and i'm um, looking up for how to because this was our first dog so looking up how to um prepare for um you know death and stuff like that um and i just did it i knew like god wanted me to do that for a reason so i was looking that stuff up see what are the signs I wanted to uh, make sure I knew everything God was putting on my spirit and I ended up looking that stuff up in the summertime and around the end of October of last year of 2022 um I noticed um the spirit of um death over the dog and this sounds so crazy but if you are really in tune with God like you know you'll know what I'm talking about and even if you don't right now eventually the more you follow Christ God will reveal so much more stuff to you um, so I noticed that spirit over her and she wasn't acting like really, really sick or anything. She was just starting to get really sleepy and stuff. And I started to notice other little things and I was like, okay, um, there is definitely a, you know, that God is trying to show me something. And it wasn't like something bad, like, oh, there's a demonic spirit over the dog. Like, no, like just the spirit of death, like that time is coming. Um, so I noticed that I'm like, why is God showing me that? And I'm like, okay, well, he already showed me something else, you know, about looking up this stuff or whatever in the summertime. So fast forward to Thanksgiving of last year of 2022, she got really, really, really sick. And I was really concerned. I, the spirit of, you know, death, I don't even know if I can say this on YouTube, I keep saying that word. But anyways, that spirit was very, like, prominent around November. Uh, around thanksgiving and i was starting to get a little fearful but i was like okay well i need to take it to god i need to pray and ask god for his will to be done i didn't ask god for nothing else but his will to be done with our dog and um you know i, I go to bible study on wednesday so i asked the pastor you know to keep her in prayer and, and everything too and i ended up taking her to the vet 
they said she could have possibly had um, cancer and uh, we had her on medication um, around October. They told us um, she only would have like a month to still be alive, possibly. So we were like, okay. Um, but after we gave her her medication, she started to feel good. She started to feel like back to herself energetically for like a month. And then um, I knew because I prayed for God's will to be done. I knew God was giving us grace and, you know, God was preparing us from the summertime. He was preparing me um, to plan for her and um, as far as preparation mentally and physically because he was going to have the rest. And um, so she started around December, around Christmas. She was really good until after Christmas. She started to just be a lot more weaker and stuff and... Um, through the new year, she started to be a little bit more slower with things and resting a lot, losing a lot of weight and stuff like that. I just made sure I kept giving her fluids, made sure I kept giving her her favorite food, made sure she was comfortable. I was so concerned about giving her a bath because I knew it was long overdue, but she was so weak. And I was like, God, am I able to give her a bath? Like, am I able to do that? And God has spoke to me and, uh, he actually showed me me bathing her. So I knew it was okay. It was safe to bathe her at that time. Um, and that she wouldn't like hurt herself or anything. Because mind you, she's older. And she also she had arthritis too and stuff um, around this time. So fast forward, it's New Year. She starts to get a little bit slower with things. And, um, um, you know, God just uh, was just really... Um, God was just really giving our family peace about her name was Sadie. God was really giving us peace about Sadie. And um I don't want to start crying or nothing because like it's already like God already gave us peace and everything. I'm just crying about memories and stuff like that. But um God had already gave us um peace about Sadie um months in advance, like half a year in advance. Or you know half you know in the summertime. And just everything about her in that season was so peaceful. Um, and fast forward, today is, what is today? Today is January 23rd, uh, 2023. And January 20, 21st of 2023, which was, what was that? Was that, that was Saturday. Saturday, early in the morning, you know, I... I got up early at night or actually I was on the phone and um, I seen she was so frustrated. She was trying to move and she was just really frustrated trying to move and she was noticing she was getting weaker and she was like crying a little bit, like trying to move her body while she was resting. And I'm like, okay, it's something, something going on. So I, you know, I went to her, I was talking to her and um, I just noticed she was not comfortable. She was not comfortable at all. So I was like, okay, um, I was telling my sister at that time, I texted her and I told her like, you know, you need to come and see um, Sadie. You need to come and see her this weekend possibly. And she was like, yeah, I'll come see her because I knew her time was coming like really, really soon, um, very soon. And um, that Saturday, which was a couple of days ago, um, I had to take her to the emergency room because she was trying to rest and she was just so uncomfortable um, and she was screaming and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I need to take her to the, the emergency vet. Um, this was like at five o'clock in the morning, I think four or five o'clock AM, um, on Saturday that just passed. And so I took her to the vet. Um, I knew it was time for her to, to transition. I knew it was time for her to go, um, because she was in a lot of pain. And I was like, okay, God, because before, before I went to bed that night on Saturday, I, Friday, uh, before I laid down, I prayed and asked God because I really didn't want to put her down. Um, but I wanted to uh, see what God wanted me to do. So I prayed about it and I said, Lord, you know, do you want me to put her down or do you want me to just let her, you know, be alive until she, you know, just is unalive, you know, just keep her in peace and, you know, comfort and stuff until she just, you know. So God answered my prayers that, you know, hours later, and he said, you know, it's time to put her put her down she's in pain so I took her to the vet and or the emergency room the dog you know hospital emergency room and I I just I, I knew she was in pain and 
um, they, they put her down. It was very peaceful. Um, I noticed that, um, after they gave her, they give you, they give her medication first. I, this was our first time with a dog. So God had me studying everything before. So I would know everything when it happens. And, you know, they told me how they do everything and all that stuff. And it was just very peaceful. And, um, I knew, I don't, we know, no one knows where animals go when they pass, but I knew wherever she goes is whatever God intended her to go. But it was just a blessing that God did that. And, you know, medical bills for dogs is really expensive. Um, and God had gave me, blessed me with extra money that night, the night before to cover her medical fees. And I, it was like the exact same amount of money that I got blessed with. And it was supposed to be for Sadie. And also, so after that, she passes away, you know, she goes, you know, wherever animals go, um, at around six o'clock on Saturday and the following day we had a snowstorm and mind you, God did everything perfectly beyond any way that I can imagine it to be done because if she would have waited another day she would have been in so much pain and we wouldn't have been able to take her to the vet or to the emergency room and that would have been agony for her and mind y'all literally the next day we had a snowstorm so I couldn't take her to the emergency room like there was no way for that to happen um and it was just so such a blessing when I got back home just everything was peaceful we do have another dog she was a little concerned um, but you know, we tried to tell her like, you know, where Sadie was and stuff, try to communicate with her people who are dog people, you know, like we're, you know, we talk to our dogs and stuff, but anyways, um, God was just amazing on how he did everything. And I truly believe, sorry, I truly believe he did that for us and for, you know, me, um, and everything because of me walking in his will and he let me know everything beforehand. I truly believe if I was not in the will of God, like before I got saved, before I really surrendered everything, everything to God, I may have not would have heard all the signs he was giving me. And I wouldn't have been able to walk in that and be able to know that ahead of time. So I'm just so grateful that God did that. Um, and I know like she's not in pain anymore. She was a beautiful dog. She loved all kind of animals. She loved cats, dogs. She would try to nurse. We had some kittens at one point and she was trying to give them milk at one time. Like she was just, she loved every single kind of animal. She was so sweet. Um, it was a Shih Tzu and she lived in her, like it, her almost to the max of her lifespan. Um, I, I believe Shih Tzus live from 13 to 14 or 15 years. So she lived a really long um, and it was all by the grace of God. She was so energetic all the way up until 13, until like a few months, you know, before she passed away. But this dog was so energetic. People could not believe that this dog was 13 years old. And I'm like, yeah, she is. She just got the, the Holy Spirit in her or something. Like she's just so, you know, lively and stuff. But I just wanted to share this testimony because, you know, I wanted to encourage people if you um, are, you know, not really sure if you're walking in the will of God and you want to obtain all the blessings that God has inside of you, um, being obedient and walking in the will that he has for you. Um, just know that when you do surrender your whole life to God, he's going to cover other areas in your life because you're doing what he wants you to do. You're sacrificing your flesh and you're walking that narrow path with God and you're surrendering all your cares on him. He's He's your father. He's going to take care of it. He's going to let you know certain things. You know, he's going to protect you. He's going to help you preparate and plan for certain things. Um, um, just truly, if you ask yourself personally, am I walking in God's will or am I a little bit in the middle or am I not walking in God's will? And ask yourself, how do I walk in the will of the Father? I want to do what God has called me to do. I want to do whatever God has called me to do. And I want to sacrifice all the things that my flesh wants. And I want to give it to God because he has so much inheritances inside of just me surrendering my life to him. So that's why I wanted to make this testimony. Um, I'm going to make more videos on here. I just, God has called me to, you know, rest on 
doing some things but I will be back when God tells me to um but I wanted to uh, give you guys this testimony because it helped me, of course, and I know it's going to help other people. Um, and if anybody is not sure if they're walking in God's purpose, I just pray that today you will use this testimony to apply it to your life so that you can walk in the purpose that God has for you. And I pray that you listen to the Holy Spirit and you listen to God when he tells you to do things um, to help better you in your walk with him so that you can surrender your life to him. I pray that in your life that you choose to follow God and surrender all your cares on him. And I, I pray that when you choose to walk in the will of the Father, that the grace that he has for you is in abundance to cover all of your needs and even your wants. Um, I pray that when you choose to walk in that path of your purpose and whatever God has for you to do in this life, that he just abundantly blesses you and not just financially, but spiritually, physically, your family, your inheritances, your, your, your family members, your family's family members. If you don't have kids, the kids that you are going to have soon, um, your body, your, your, I pray that he, because of you walking in this narrow path and you listening to the Holy Spirit and you listening to him, I pray that he blesses your body. I pray that he, he uh, shows you signs and wonders and warnings and stuff and that you listen to him and that you continue to walk that narrow path that he has for you. Because just not just you just surrendering your life to Christ, it don't just mean you're doing just work 24 seven. Um, God is also blessing you too. And his blessings are not just financial. Blessings are so much more pure than money. Um, I just really pray that. Um, and if you guys are wanting to know your purpose, stay consistent with following God and um, keeping him in your life daily. And he's going to reveal to you every single thing you need to know about your purpose. Every single time you need to start doing something or stop doing something or go this way or go that way. He's going to tell you when you seek him daily. It's a lot harder to hear from God clearly when you are not applying him in your life daily. He's your father. We have to apply him daily in our lives. But I just wanted to make this video because it helped me and I know it's gonna help other people. So bye y'all.